Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus laptop. This is an Asus VivoBook S. The model is an S510U. It's a longer version model on this one, but this, this video applies for any uh, S510U. If you want to note, your full model number is at the, under the barcode. It says 510UR-BR175P. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can replace, remove the battery for your laptop. Uh, and I'll give you a good tip on how to use your first battery to keep the health of the battery at its best peak performance. Um, so that's very, very important. By replacing your battery, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything is going to be left the way you had it, so you don't have to worry about your files, losing your files, anything like that. It's just pretty much plug and play. Uh, almost plug and play. All right. First thing first, let's go over the tools I'll be using. Every tool that I use will be linked in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Tool number one is a good screwdriver set. I would recommend you the iFix screwdriver set as they have all the bits that you require. This is a basic set with a screwdriver only. We have a Phillips number one. And if you get the pro set, they will give you an opening tools and stuff like that. But if not, just grab the basic tool set like me and grab yourself a guitar pick. A metal guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and towers. All right, down here on the bottom, we have one, two, three, four types of screws in different types. There are two hidden ones. So let's go over the two hidden ones. One is under each rubber cover at the back end of the laptop. So remove this rubber cover by putting it, putting it underneath and just popping it up. Has a little adhesive on there. So you want to remove these black screws right under the cover, under the rubbers, I would say. Next, we have only one single long screw, which is at the back mid. You want to remove that and keep them in a separate pile. Next, we got two short screws, which is the corner front end. You want to remove these two screws and keep them in a separate pile. Now, the rest of the screws, the two in the mid, front, on the side, mid, and back corner, these are all the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. So go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in a separate pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and support the channel to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Appreciate that. Now that we remove the rest of the screws, you want to grab yourself the opening tool. In this case, the guitar pick. You want to start in front of the laptop because you know that there is no electronics here. There's only speakers. So you want to stick the guitar pick about one or two millimeters in there. You want to twist it. You want to hear those clicks. That's what you want to hear. Just go all around in the front, one or two millimeter, twist it. You want to hear those clips are getting loose. You're not breaking anything. Just do that on the side. It's important you only stick about one or two millimeters. Don't stick anything longer than that. All right, go to the back corner. You want to hear that click sound. All right. Once you're done with that, you don't need to do the back end. That's there's a motherboard in it, so just do the sides and the front, and grab it from the front, wiggle it around, lift it up, and it will snap and loose the back clip. You're not breaking it. All right. So down here we can see the uh, battery on an L shape right here. This is an ASUS 11.54, 52 volt, 42 watt hour battery. The model is really tiny in there. Let me see. This is model B31N1637. I'll get the link for this one. I'll leave it in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. To disconnect the battery, you want to push this metal cover towards this uh, flex cable for the keyboard. So what you want to do, you want to push it towards that so as long as it clears this white cover, white plastic. And you just want to Put your finger on the side and lift it up, and the cable will come out pretty easy. Next, you want to put your uh, fingers or just pull these Wi Fi cables upward, and you want to untangle them right across this uh, battery. Just like this, it just goes zigzagging right there. Next, you want to remove the three screws that touches the battery one in the corner, mid, and right here. All right, once you remove these screws, you can grab the battery, bring it up. I think, oh, 
the battery still gets pinched by this. You want to remove this thing. I don't even recommend having this one here. The adhesive it gets really weak and it can just go over the board and this side is conducted. Just don't use it. Anyway, but we do need to remove the hard drive. So remove two screws in here to for the hard drive caddy and remove tiny screw right at the hard drive caddy on the back and on this side. So you need to remove these two screw, these two screw, slide the hard drive backward that way and then bring up the battery and remove it. So there's your battery. These are one, two, three cell and controller board is right over here. So let's say that you got the new battery in. All you want to do, you want to bring it under these cables, set it down. Make sure this goes right over. And this cable has to go underneath. Bring it over like this, align it, and it will sit down. There's a tiny pinhole in here. You want to make sure it goes through here. You want to bring this cable underneath. Just this Wi-Fi cable has to go right there. And I'm going to align it and then I'm going to bring it over, run it right through these grooves. And underneath, same thing on this other one. And bring it backward. There we go. Put the three screws that you remove on this side. And then you want to slide the hard drive back over. Put the two tiny screws at the back end of the hard drive caddy. And then the two longer screws goes in the front end of the hard drive caddy. Once you're done with that, all you want to do is grab this Wi-Fi antenna and you want to align it over the connector. Make sure it's aligned and then just push it straight in. It makes a tiny click sound. Just align it. it there you go. Nice and tiny click sound. Make sure this cable stay right in between the grooves right there. And make sure this metal bracket is all the way towards this side, towards the hard drive. Bring this connector straight over the jack and push it down. Make sure it's in place. Use your finger to push this metal bracket towards the connector. All right, once you have the battery in and everything is connected, I'm going to put this on for the heck of the video so people don't start screaming and we're going to grab the bottom cover we're going to put it right on top we're going to push the corners in you see any gap opening you just want to pinch them we'll make a nice big click sound that's how you know the cover is in place push the corners really hard and you hear those click sounds there we go it gets sometimes really tough then you want to put the corner in black screws under the rubber feet first and then grab the longest screw for the chrome screw. It goes back mid. And the two tiny screws goes in the front corners. And the rest of the screw goes all over the place, wherever you see the screw hole. And don't forget to put the rubber feet on top. Now, regarding the new batteries, once you have the new battery uh, connected, you don't want to power on the laptop right away. If you have powered it on, power it off quickly and plug in the charger let it sit there while it's off and so it can charge itself for two to three hours after two to three hours once it's charged you want to power on the laptop without the charger plugged in and you want to discharge the battery slowly by putting up some light work on the cpu just put some videos some office work bring the brightness down to 20 or 30 percent and then let it drain down to whatever your limit for your windows is once it's drained out, you want to power it off and then you want to plug in the charger and you want to sit there again for another two to three hour charging. And after that, you can just use it as you wish. That initial charge and discharge is very important and crucial for the new battery. And you should be doing that cycle once every 
couple of months to keep the health of the battery on its peak performance. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.